get to go have a wonderful weekend. Tonight starts that weekend. And tonight I get to read you Pepe and the Parade as we celebrate Hispanic heritage. Thanks for being here. Hola, comunidad de Greenfield. Soy Superintendente Calvana aquí con ustedes leyendo historias de celebrar el mes de hispanos latinos. Y esta noche no es diferente. Vamos a leer la historia que se llama Pepe and the Parade. Pepe y el desfile en español. Una celebración de hispanos latinos. So, aquí vamos. All right, let's see what we can learn about all the wonderful Latin flags. So I'm Mexican American, but there are so many different Latin cultures. There are people from Puerto Rico, from Colombia, from Venezuela, Ecuador, España, Portugal, all the beautiful places. And so let's see what we can learn about all the wonderful people we call Hispanos Latinos. Pepe wakes up early. There's a festival today and he's going to the city with his family. Ole! Amigos and familia will attend a celebration honoring Hispanic people all across the nation. Mommy makes a special breakfast filled with love and care. The smell of chilequiles and frijoles warms the air. Abuelo talks of heritage, traditions, and países and says it's a festival to showcase their raices. Raices are roots and países are countries. Today is special, Pepe, for the history and pride of a millions and millions of Hispanics who are living by our side. Pepe makes some little flags and wants to color more, but mommy interrupts him and says, let's get ready, por favor. You know what por favor is? You got it, please. Pepe loves his jersey made of radiant colors. Mommy's enchanted with her falda linda de flores. And abuelo has a thing for hats and wears a wide sombrero. Papi looks so dashing, mommy cries, ay, mi caballero. That's cute. The city pounds the energy and Pepe feels the pride, remembering Abuelo's words, Hispanics are by our side. Pepe spots some friends from school who are Hispanic too. Anna's from Ecuador and Lalo, he's from Peru. Dylan, he's from the Dominican Republic and Carla, she's from Colombia. Juan, he's from Nicaragua. Teresita's from Chile. Sara's from Puerto Rico and también Salvador. Max is from Guatemala, Santiago is Cubano, and Pepe wants to join because he says, soy Mexicano. Abuelo waves him over. It's your turn to walk now, vamos. Pepe hugs his papi and says, todos celebramos. Abuelo makes maracas. People love the shak shak sound. Pepe holds his little flag and waves them all around. Mambo, salsa, rock, bachata, cumbia, reggaeton. Pepe hears the mariachis and starts to sing a canción. The rhythm of the Latin music flows all up and down the street. Pepe and his friends are dancing, bouncing to the beat. Pepe gets his friends to taste carnitas y gorditas with creamy guacamole and a side of papas fritas. Abuelo, take our picture. Pepe jumps into the pile, laughing, happy, noisy kids. Abuelo chuckles, okay, smile. That night, when Pepe heads to bed, he feels so very proud. He knows the day was special. He could sense it in the crowd. He falls asleep so grateful for the fun he had today and knows that next year's festival is just 12 months away. And that's our story for tonight. How beautiful. I love it when we celebrate every culture. I am proud to be Mexicana, Mexican-American, but I love my brothers and my sisters is what I call them. The all the other países, Puerto Ricos, uh, the Puerto Rico, the Cuba, the todos los países Latinos, all the countries, um, Latin countries that are just all of our family as we embrace everyone together. So Hispanic Heritage Month continues until October 15th. So I'm gonna keep reading you some more stories. Thanks so much for joining me here tonight. I'm Superintendent Galvan with the Greenpool School District sending a great big bear hug from our family to yours.